Hey everyone, we're checking out the new iPad iPhone game, Train Ride 3D. Uh, it's been on the App Store recently. Uh, right now it's running for $3.99. Not too good ratings, it's only got two stars, 11 ratings. Now we're going to see if this is a good or a bad purchase. Um, of course, my son loves Train, so we're going to check out and the public photos looked okay. We're going to see what's going on. Um, just start off in the app, up here in the top left corner, the little gear, turns the music or sound on and off. Play button, go back, and we're going to click play. Alright, here we are now in the train. Um, we're going to, got a couple buttons here. Got this button here on the top left. The green, or just a yellow go. And then, then your other two buttons are these two levers, the left side of the screen and the right side of the screen. We're gonna the red one up and then go. And you see you notice here on the right hand side a little movie button popped up um, once we left the station. Um, you tap that button now, you get the external view of the train. Um, from inside this view, Oh, after we go through this tunnel. Um, as you notice, you have not many controls here on the screen. You've got your, your dials and gauges to make it look like a train inside, but you've only got these two levers on the left and right. Uh, the red one on the right, black one on the left. So we leave that tunnel and the movie button pops up. Here we go to the external view again. Now I'm seeing our red and white train going through the countryside. i with my finger move the train, move the camera, go to the top view of the train for a little bit. Um, you can just touch anywhere on the screen, have to toss across it over the street, change the camera view to more downward angles, so more of a three-fourth view, see the train from the side and the front. So it goes past these trees, through the mountains, past the road. One thing you can't do, you can't pinch to zoom in or out, so you're kind of stuck going here over the river over the lake. Um, here's another view of that passing the lake, but you can't really do anything else. Um, I can click the movie button, go inside the train, get a first person view as we head back here into the original train station. Um, there's no missions or anything else we can do. It really is just a train ride 3D. Um, all you can do is just watch the train ride. Um, again, clicking the the movie icon on the right hand side of your screen takes it to you the first person view. You can go through tunnels and look out the cab of the train. Or once you exit this tunnel, um, you can click that button again and go to the external camera to see the train from the outside. Yeah, and that's about it as far as the game goes. There's not really much of a game. It really is just a simulator of the train because um, other than changing the camera angles to see different angles of the trees, of houses, um, that's it. There's no other tracks, um, no other buttons, nothing else you can do at all in this game. You click the top left yellow button, the go button, just turn the button off the engine. Um, yep gray button next to it just reverses the train so you want to see the train go backwards here's the train going backwards click it again go forwards so got back on for it and go forward and backwards on your train change the camera Train Ride 3D in a nutshell. I think the reviews are warranted for a $4 game. I was hoping for a little more substance than just a camera and a train ride with a 3D view in and outside as we pull into the station. And that's this app review in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. 